Okay. Convenient parking places and trying not to pull off from people in front of people is interesting. We're going to subtly drive past here and see what ha what exactly has happened. Um, it's illegal to run over pedestrians. You must stop and cause an accident and let them cross. Yeah, looks like a cop pulled over another. Oh, nice place to put the cones. Uh, pulled over a truck. What a big surprise. I didn't know that guy there, but... They sure try to make their money on holidays, that's for sure. I understand they got a job to do. I mean, I'm friends with, you know, some police officers. I know them personally. But, I don't know. I guess they got to do what they got to do, but some of them are, you know, well, I've read by your comments out there that you pretty much think the same way or feel the same way, so I'm not going to repeat it. But on a, on a day like today, the last day of the festival, it's not the 4th of July exactly, but um, even though there's an event going on, they're out, and I can understand, make sure that uh, there's a large amount, large amounts of traffic and people that drive with the head up their ass. Um, people that drive with their heads up their ass really goes up to, you know, it, it skyrockets whenever there's a, an event. They just uh, make their way out. Kind of interesting. Not really, not really bitching, not really complaining, but there's a little bit of industry over there. Don't know what all you're getting to see, and that's some of our uh, electric lines up. We'll take a look. There they are up there. Ooh, electric power! Yeah, electric. It's kind of cool. Doesn't have as uh, as cool of a sound as uh, 50 hertz. It's 60, but I guess when you grow up with it and you grow up around uh, substations and stuff and you're used to hearing it, but when you hear a 50 hertz hum, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's only what you're used to. Let's see what this guy does here behind me. He's probably gonna creep. Is he gonna creep right up on my bumper? No, surprisingly he didn't, because the, uh, the issue with people in this town is they've fallen under the assumption that nobody drives a uh, manual transmission anymore, so they get right up on your bumper, and uh, well, it's kind of interesting, there's some power right there. Just taking a little drive around here. Sunday drive. I think that's what I'm gonna call this video. That's another one of the big industries that's here. But yeah, that's pretty cool. You've seen that in a couple of my videos. It's uh, not as big as it was once. Um, this used to take care of all of the area, all 8,000 of us, I guess, that's in this town, which isn't much at all. But it, um, uh, trying to combine everything into one place just did not work out at all. It's just, especially now when everybody's got their air conditioning running, you couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it, it'd blow fuses, and then when they go and put everything back online, most people, you know, they, didn't turn anything off like I turn my breakers off most of them I turn it off to the air conditioning and all that stuff because when it comes back on there's a surge so I just cut the breakers and when the, the uh, street light comes on at the bottom of the hill or something that I plug into a single outlet and you know, I wait for the you know the inrush to whatever you want to call it to settle out and I go ahead and and uh, Ooh, I'm speeding. 
um, I'll go ahead and turn everything back on. 87 degrees says that sign, 91 says the car. Um, but I think cars lie. You know, one, one thing I'm glad about is this car doesn't have one of them annoying shift now lights on it. On up or, up or down shift, I've seen them on both. It's annoying as all hell. But hopefully you're enjoying my Sunday rambling and Sunday drive. Um, not really much to talk about. Went down, went down to the festival. It was nice and cool. Got hot. The sun's really hot, and the breeze is kind of disappearing. So, summer's here. I'm not going to complain about it one bit. The only thing I'll complain about is if the air conditioning quits. And right now, it's let's just say 90 degrees outside, and my vent temperature. Vent temperature coming out of this car. I don't know what it is right now. 40, maybe 44 degrees, 45 degrees, maybe. Um, yeah, that's if that thermometer there is accurate. But, I'll just give you a little ride around town. Or what's considered town. I mean, this is kind of the edge of it. If I make a left here and I go down there maybe a quarter mile, it's country. So it's, it's really close. That radio tower is still up there. I thought they were tearing that down because of safety hazards. But apparently not. I don't even see any antennas on it. But oh well. I guess that's how the ball, the ball bounces, the cookie crumbles, the milk sours, the uh, poor old white trash man. Trying to figure out a good one. It's how the cookie crumbles and the poor old white trash man finds things in the trash. It happens. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm approaching seven minutes and f I'm approaching eight minutes. So I am going to cut this short. A drive home, sit in the air conditioning, maybe, and uh, talk to you later.